All right, hello, race fans. You've joined us for another exciting high octane adventure with Kyle Crane and this random ninja that we found. He's off somewhere killing zombies. Thank you for joining us on our Thursday Sound Goblin gaming session. I'm, as always, your host, the Krampus. And I'm Vincent. And uh, last time we left off, we finished Hell Raid and then pretty much we're doing what you see now running over zombies with a tricked out buggy. Uh, as to what really is going on, uh, we heard rumor from a crazy dying man that there was a group of people who were immune to the Haran virus, who were living out in a isolated section of the countryside. Uh, we decided to go and see what all the fuss was about and see if they really were immune. And uh, we discovered that there's a group of people out here who are worshipping someone called the Mother. And they claim that the worship of the mother keeps them immune from the virus. Uh, so now we have to do a bunch of favors for the people in town in order to convince them that we are a good enough person to go speak to the faceless, the only people who get to speak to the mother. As for Shiv, uh, Shiv is probably going to show up later, but if he does not show up later, then it will be just us and bits. Also, look at him pumpkins. Why don't you go in reverse? Uh, did you grab a car of your own? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, you are probably going to get teleported back, because uh, I need to go talk to some people for some quests. So, uh, the good news is, is that you can just recall your buggy back to the town. Oh, I can? Yeah, when you're in town, there's a radio you can interact with that just recalls your buggy back to this parking area over here. Ah. So, in the event that we get teleported or something, you don't have to lose out on your tricked out buggy. And teleportation. Teleportation. Okay. We got one more. There we go. No, we're not creating a story competition. No, we're not creating a story competition. And then here's the radio I was talking about. Just hold it after we call your vehicle. Lance over here. All right. So we got two quests to do. Uh, you got anything you need to take care of? Equipment you need to grab? Things like that. Uh, no, I'm pretty much good. Fair warning: one of these is going to be jumping into a volatile hive. Well, you know. But we're doing it during the day, so we should be all right. It's fine, I have this fire wand. I wish the fire wand was better. Roy a vault to hive. Yes. That Volta Hive is over there. Yep. Somewhere. It's on the blue marker. Ah. Right, I guess to the automobile. Yep. At running speed or walking speed, depending on what the game lets me do. Walking speed in town, unfortunately. That's a brisk walk, at no, least. I, no, I can run in town. Yeah. Alright. Might as well attempt this driving thing. Yep. Okay, let me turn around here. Away! Pretty 
right radius is a bit on the ass side. Oh shit, one of my buggy parts is damaged. You starred me in a fucking shitty position, you idiots. Ah. That's my exit. Ah, crap, I'm expecting exit. These trees. I think I have a mountain in my way. Possibly. Yeah, okay, thanks, game. Yeah, that makes it so playable. Uh <laughs> I'll be fair, this is the volatile hive, which is like a mini I forget if they're stealth or not. I think they're stealth. Section. Actually, not that far from it, anyways. So let's just exit yeah. the vehicle and stop carrying. Yeah, okay. you're you're right next to it. Like if you come down the hill here to where I am. Where's the jump button? Right, this game doesn't have an actual jump button. It, it pretends that you get to move freely. It does if you're playing on keyboard. No, it has the uh, inner. It has the hold this down, do all the parkour moves button, which happens to jump. Mm, that's weird. Initially, when you press it, that's it. Okay. So well, it's technically jump if you need to jump to do parkour movement, but it's very reliant on what the game okay. thinks you should be doing. Okay, so this is a volatile hive. It is full of volatiles. Well, that would make sense. So it wants us to destroy the volatile hive. Uh, yes, there's a specific like object in the heart of the the volatile nest here, uh, called the volatile hive. When we destroy that, our mission is complete. That sounds dumb. Sure. On the bright side, they let us use the grappling hook, so... Oh, uh, yeah. By the following, they realized how their game is, is set up. And how mm -hmm. their game works. So, they just let you use the grappling hook in a lot more places. We have a bolt. Wait, now we have a runner. Had a runner. Okay. Yeah, so you now see that thing that's... Bolt. You see that weird thing that's bouncing on the ground there? Like the red volatile squishy on the ground? Yeah. That is a volatile hive. A so what volatile. you're saying uh, is we're going to kill ourselves. Uh, no. What we're going to do is we're going to use fancy uh, whip trick. Ow. <laughs> no, I said we're going to kill ourselves. <laughs> uh... Actually, hey, that hit you, didn't it? Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, respawn. Yeah. That's fine, we can't possibly be that far away. No. The the volatile hives are not long. Some of them get a little tricky, but none of them are, like, super long. We were close to the end. Of them. Taking the shortcut there uh, drops okay, you down... Doesn't... Like at the halfway point. <laughs> I 
What did you do that killed us? Uh, that was, I think, the dark one. God. Okay. It is impossible to get good angles on these things for some unknown reason, where even if it doesn't look like your shot in any way or capacity is going to hit you, it will. Yeah. And I, I have no fucking idea why. Okay. There is an alternate way through. Oh, but not that way. Where is the entrance down here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, you're, you're oh. better off not coming into the cave. Oh, did you get spotted? Yeah, you're better off not coming into the cave. Is it just one, or...? Oh, no, the, the, the whole place is full of them. You alert one. No, 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 I've... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in stealth mode for me. Ah, uh, that's because you died. Okay. Yeah, they killed me. And now they're not for me. No, they're and gonna now be, they are. No, they're gonna be assholes about this. I'm trying to remember how I dealt with them. I remember I was not fair to Vault Hives. I did something to cheese them. Oh, fuck it. Uh, no, I did not want to change. <sighs> I'll do it. Uh, you're not actually that far, but there. Might there might not be a bolt around here. That was almost certainly one. There it is. Right, he spawns here. I'm fairly certain. Because he did that same jumping thing to me when I first got here. There's two goddamn ammo things sticking out. And you died. Holy shit. I can get back there. Alright. Here's our unclimbable mountains. Yes, they have some unclimbable mountains. Those fuck you, players. <laughs> How dare you try to get around on that? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. No bother. I do believe that I am going to grasp the power before our next session. Because especially after having taken... or having experienced so many of the improvements they made in Dying Light 2, I am even less charitable towards Dying Light 1. Mm. Actually released a huge update for Dying Light 2 like today. Huh. Introduced like crafting, introduced additional gore. Racing trophy. You. This additional way to the 
cave. Do not loop that. Fucking course you can loop this. Okay, fuck you, game. He did nothing but jump on me. Constantly. In loop. Yep. We were given a stealth section without the tools to actually do stealth. Yeah. In a game that doesn't actually ha uh, have a. Well, it's not completely bereft of a, a, a idea of stealth, but. It's not exactly great at it either. I, okay, what I think they want us to do, and I'm going to pull up a guide, in case I am right. I don't want to be right about this. Because you're right there, so us going this way is basically not quite suicide, but stupid. We go down to the bottom. Assuming that's not just instant death pretending to be an actual piece of level. Because the problem really isn't killing a volatile per se. It's killing like all of the volatiles, and it seems as if they just instantly respawn any fucking ways. Oh yeah, you can't kill all the volatiles. They there's little rock holes where they respawn. We need to kill those things that were on the ground that I showed you. Two of them are dead. I'm trying to find the third one by zerg rushing my body into it over. Yeah, so I was right in that the way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to do these as night missions. Because then all the volatiles, are, or a significant number of the volatiles, are out of here. Oh, then we probably should have just gone to bed. Yeah, but I'm stubborn. Oh, 
That unmoving thing with the hive. Yes. That thing on the ground there is the hive. Can we just shoot it from here? Uh, yes. Yes, we can. Uh, get ready to run. There's one more somewhere. I'm being. Oh, you're being spotted. Okay. I'm being spotted. No, I'm being. I'm being spotted by something I couldn't see. That wasn't here. All right. I said we abandoned this objective. We're just gonna throw our bodies at it, and I've already lost like fifteen thousand survivor points. All right, yourself survivor points. All right. I've respawned down the entrance. For some reason, I've gained agility points. Full 28 for me in pursuit. That, that was not what I wanted to do. Alright, just force kill me. Thank you. Crafting med kits. So I assume no response from Shiv. Nope, no response. We are on our own. in the cave or you're down the hill? I'm I'm out of the cave. I respawned. Okay. I'm taking your buggy. It's got no gas. Just gas? Yes, but the uh, next objective we're going to is the place with the gas station. <sighs> Alright, go on. first. I'm fairly certain I've got the things to fix this. Oh, that's because it's your car. Okay, no. We drive with uh, shitty tires. I mean, I can't just fix it. There's no time! I'm annoyed. Can't use melee weapons. <laughs> you can't lean out and mad max somebody. Witness me! I feel this is an oversight. That's a... That certainly isn't going to come into play later. Oh, the big, uh, altar? Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, plenty of them around here. They get used as, like, waypoints. They get used as... As, like, radio quests. Like the survivors that would occasionally pop up. Mm. All right. Okay. Yes, if you search cool. gas stations, you get fuel. Um, and you come into the back of the tank here and you dump fuel. Uh, 
I see an icon. I hear a guy talking. It's right uh, outside, actually. Oh. I'm most of it. Okay. I can talk to him Wait, in a second then. No. Yeah. Uh, no idea. Uh. Oh, he's on the roof. That's why. <laughs> now over here, I see. Replenish my uh, rifle ammo. Yeah, I should buy bolts as well. Uh, also, buy all the screws you can. They're cheap, and screws are the car thing for crafting. Now we can go talk to the guy. Excuse me, you uh, you the owner here? Oh no, no, no! Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected, you don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is. Still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. Immediately focus on the Jade statue, stop crying. In the long run. Take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Okay. Fuck, power must be offline. There's a blueprint for the discharger in the store proper, by the way. Uh, right behind you in the drawer. Oh. Okay. Gonna take a quick second. Change out an outfit. No longer am I the flayed man. Mm. So, so you're no longer wearing a red outfit. I, I, I don't know what you mean. I was missing my skin. Out here in this wild uh, section of the country, I need, must be Sheriff Crane. Okay. So you're gonna get meat ported again in a second. Okay. So we got some uh, things to pick up. I have to select a quest. That isn't going in a cave during the day. Now let's ask Bilal about the power plant. So what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yup. 
Sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen, friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him. Uh, also, this guy acts as our quartermaster, and if you talk to him, he'll give you car parts occasionally. Basic car parts, but enough to keep your car in working. Uh, and the recall vehicle thing is here in his office as well. It's on the table there. Is there another one? Another... Missed a quest while we were here. Find an insulator on the power pole. I don't care about my dock, it's... Oh, we have to head out that way anyway. All right, blue point on the map. Sure. Uh, Where's my car? Oh, uh, cars will occasionally despawn to save. I'll go call them. <sighs> Man, it's a dying light. You honestly should have expected that. <laughs> For all the random nonsense, though, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. It just got moved over to the parking area over here. Oh, both our cars did. Yep. So I'll just get in the back of yours. Okay. All right. Now we'll go for a leisurely stroll. Let me shoot my bow. You can't shoot your bow, you have to use guns. The game has decided we are not allowed to have our particular brand of fun. Only their particular brand of fun. Really? Up there's the silence truck. And there's one of the jumps. Oh, these royal oil tracks look like a good place to park. Uh... Hooray, we're engaging with the game mechanics. This counts as engagement with the game mechanics. Well, you're running over zombies, you're getting XP. Right, no, I'm not. Oh, well, like, yeah, I am, because I haven't even maxed that one out. Yes. All right, I'm going to climb the tower here and go grab the thingy. I'm going to play with these zombies. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Huh. Huh. I fell and hurt my tummy. This game will let me look behind me in the car. Uh, this might be my bad memory from having played this game so long ago, but I do think I remember that one of the like hull reinforcements gets you a rear view mirror. I would not be terribly surprised. It's supposed to just, you know being able to fucking turn around. 
Oh no. Okay. We're just driving a cage, I mean. <laughs> Cocaine, more cocaine. Ah, oh, good old That's country funny. cocaine. Yep. Twenty kilos, West Virginia. Now wait for Shiv to finish climbing this uh, tower. Shiv. Oh, this might be an issue. Well, yeah, Shiv's not here. That's what we care about this truck, right? Uh, the Silas truck, yes. It has Silas crates inside of it. We want to open the Silas crates. How do I open the Silas truck? Uh, one second. Some sort of just covered in a canvas. This is the right truck, right? Yeah, that's the Silas truck. A second. Quests. Is that the right truck? Yeah, get to the Silas truck. No. So on the freeway. No, it's the other one. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, it's the one over there. Never mind. Sorry. There's so well, I'm says Silas, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, shit. Sorry. I didn't think there was anybody in here. Hey, well, relax. I don't like that. I was just some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal I it. I believe you fell. Yeah, because it's not marking where the fucking insulator I need is. Okay, there's dialogue there, and I'm not the one streaming, so. Yep, give me a second. I give me a second. For... Luckily, there's a respawn tower right near here. Oh, right, right, right. Anti-fun. Forgot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can't grappling hook these towers. And I'll fall to my death anyways, but... Yeah, the idea is there, at least. Okay. Yeah, nice fresh crop of zombies over there. somewhere for my position Congratulations, you've made it to the top. My patience for this game is not at its highest right now. Well, oh, consider our lack of shiv anyway, these. <laughs> Is it that thing? What thing? That, like, ribbon that is hanging off, like... Yellow ribbon? 
Yeah. No, that is a marker for where you can jump to things. That appears more in the uh, the DLC here than it does in the main game. Well, that's... I, I'd say handy, but I'd be lying. There we go. Yeah, that sure did fall. Yeah. Oh! oh. Drop it. So welcome to up here. Yep. I'm gonna take care of this thing while I'm here. Oh, also you can siphon gas from fuel from uh, cars. Oh, that's a thing at least. That is a thing. I'll explain why there's a search at the gas side of it. Right. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. Alright, understood. Are we ostensibly in the Turkish countryside? Uh, yes we are, and I have no idea why NASCAR man is here. <laughs> uh, so this guy you can buy... And I bought them. Yes. Okay. And his house also serves as a uh, a safe house here. That was nice. Well, yeah. You can get bounties and whatnot. I'm not doing the dartboard bounties. The The regular quests you get from this DLC are, by and large, the same kind of stuff you'd usually get from the bounty boards in the main game. Uh, yeah. Only a few of the, the voiced cutscenes. Uh, so I don't really have any desire to do okay, much of the grinding stuff. Okay. Here is a way down. No, we're not creating a competition game. I grapple hook the ground yet? No, I'm fucking... I grapple hook the ground yet? Yes. Okay. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. It's time to rush recklessly. Right, you in? We. Ooh. Hit the jump button. You only use the jump button once per episode. Ah, it's like crap. A, it's like a turbo boost. Oh, vomit man. Fuck you, vomit man. I'm not saving him. That's fine. He'll save himself. It was about that time, them Duke boys. <laughs> but get used to that jump, because you're going to be doing that. That is one of two jumps that you will constantly be doing during the story of the fall. Because you have to go back and forth down this road a significant amount. And that's significantly less uh, area. Open. Yeah. It's no problem. So we're back on the road! As I recall, is a trap. Because that ramp, I think, takes you into the lake, unless you have the higher version of Turbo. Ah. In which case, you can actually clear the lake. I have to take a look at it. There's, there's so much I'm going off like 
you know, memory. vague premonitions and memory from. Anyways. If I had a nickel for everyone who had their kids with them in this hellhole. I have like four or five nickels or something, but still. Let's do some help. Get him on the way back. It's not like we're leaving him forever. So what's the worst that can, uh, it can happen? You're stuck inside a uh, surrounded by zombies as opposed to outside surrounded by zombies? This is the dumb part. Uh, so, runners can actually, like, latch onto your car. And you have to stop the car and get off and kill all the runners. Okay. We have cleared the windshield off. We make it to... Okay. You're in? Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm good. I just want to make sure I didn't drive off without you. Technically, I could probably shoot them off. So, if that happens again, we'll see. So much mus muscle memory is coming back to me from doing this drive. Hey, I earned a driver level up right as we got here. Also, minor amount of contention. Uh, do not back up quickly and then get out of the car while the car is still moving. Uh, oh, crap. This will do a minor amount of vehicle damage to you. Yeah, it's done. Alright. Oh, safe house. Anyways. Uh, it's... Oh, safe house. Not very... It's probably worth doing that safe house. We're going to be back here a lot. Alright then. Diagram on the ceiling. Yes. Da, 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 da. Scream. Uh, I think it's more. Yeah, there. Anyone else? Anything? Touch the magic circle. Yeah. Oh. It's not aware that could let me. That's weird. Yeah, let's let this past travel to each other for some reason. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's just a magic summoning circle. A manual way of activating the meat portation. The type of interesting. Let's see some cochrane. Bathroom. Uh, 
Whatever we need to do to secure this place. It looks like down. We're on the ground floor, so is there a way into the basement? What's through this door? Yes, there's the basement. Okay. Okay. Screw you, game. I don't want tap A. All right. Those fuses are replaced. Fuse box in the flooded basement seems safe. Absolutely. And something upstairs. Sorry, we need the kitchen. It's on this floor. Damned if I know what it is. <laughs> Put the summoning circle again. Yeah, that's summoning circle. Don't worry about it. That might be the link to Hell Raid. Now that I'm thinking about it, that would make sense. Yeah, she's only complaining about something up here. Only well, there was like a quest tracker for this. Doors up here. I think what we're looking for is a generator. That makes sense. Don't worry about the meat port. False meat port alarm. Oh, um, it's just up here. It says to go down. This says to go down. So it's not in the attic. Yeah, there's no quest tracking for this, right? No, there's no quest tracking for the, the safe houses. I don't understand what it wants. Can you close this door now? Oh, okay. I know what I know what's going on here. Huh. Um we have technically succeeded at the safe zone already, but we have to go do the power plant quest, because there's no power to the area. And no power, oh. there's no UV lights. Got it. Okay. Alright, well, I jumped oh. again. Well, well, that's dumb, but at least it will do something we... Alright, well, let's uh, go get the power plant done before it gets dark.
Okay, I might want to stand on this. Thank you. Zombies. Not even no. <sighs> yep. I just get spat on. Here's your first look at one of the faceless. Okay. Uh, so, when they are chanting... Hey. Uh, they... Oh, a Dracula you know nice joint. I'm a Kyle Crane who's been here the whole time. Oh. Sure. I bet he was just hiding behind us the entire time. He knows when they back there. Kyle Crane has no hindsight. This is true. Uh, but yeah, uh, zombies will gather around the Faceless, but they will never attack the Faceless. Also, I found the person. Alright. What's going on here? Well, if it isn't Kyle Crane, great to see you. And this? This is the Mother's Blessing. He's one of the Faceless. Hey, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but I do have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You're gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Since you offered, when this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. Mother is good. Mother is life. Mother will help us. Mother is good. My mother will help us. Alright. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Mother is good. Mother will help us. Yeah, those sure are volatiles. So, in there. In there. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's okay, they're in there. Alright, well. That's certainly not dangerous. No, 
No, it's just a charger. Just a charger, we can shoot it to death. Really, Nick. for that gun. It's all. There it goes. There we go. Not even the tough of, z of zombies can stand up to the chainsaw. Piece of hard shit. Where is my gun? Where is... Where are you? Watch out, there's a ball running around here. Several, actually. Solves us two. Two of them, actually. Yeah. Alright, turn on the main power switch. This is something above us. Looking course this holes in the Ali, I'm inside. Throwing the switch now. Were you able to connect? Uh, it doesn't appear to let me actually connect you guys. It keeps failing. Oh. Uh, you have to go into start game the following for some reason instead yeah, of continuing. The, yeah, the same thing happened to, uh, to yeah. Let's see. Uh huh.
is very finicky about uh, letting you uh, join games, basically. I don't have enough for gas for the chainsaw right now. Well, that's gonna suck for the suck for the Hey, now it survived. Party seeking Dracula is trying to connect. Failing. Oh. Connection to one of the players you've tried to uh, join has failed. That's weird. I think you're safe now. Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now, and let me hear. Told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stand guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah, let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Do you electrocuted? No. There's something coming up. There's no one. Alright. Probably the light on electricity. Yeah. I was gonna come through. Need 
Ow, fire. Hey, there we go. There we go. Hey. Finally, Dracula okay. has joined by the light of the sun. I've been here the whole time. Sure you have. Nobody tell him. Uh, you were right about that electricity showing up. Yeah. He has been lit on electricity. Yeah. Talk to Aldi. So, power's back on for good? It's back on for now, but with this old rusty broken ass equipment, I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned. It's unlocked. Below the thrust turn, you are now a newcomer. This says way more iconography than you really need. Stranger, please come here as fast as you can. It's important. I would, but there's no teleportation mechanic in this game. I refuse. Right, to the automobile. Quickly, to the crane mobile. Whose car is this? Mine? That's yours. Mine. What's that, Lassie? Timmy fell down the well? Where are you? I'm in a warehouse. Near the dam. That's fine, Timmy deserves it. So he gets for playing around the well. Kid, I'm on my way. Radio boy. So I'm going back to respawn my car. Uh, where are we actually going? Uh, to proceed, we need to go back and talk to Jasir again, the guy in the first camp that we started at tonight. <laughs> and then he goes, Oh, you helped us get the power on. You are, in fact, a good boy, Kyle Prey. And everyone just shakes their head because they know the truth. <laughs> All right, so we need to go somewhere on the map. Give me a second. Okay. I wonder if we spawn my bike. We have a safe house, so be easy enough. There's also a respawner at the power plant. Sure, explode you outside my car. What were you and your brothers even doing in here? We were looking for treasure. We came through a hole in the roof. Kid, and tell me exactly where you are. Kid, hey. Hey. Quests. Meantime, Radio Boy. Quest is now marked on the map. Alright. Find the boy in the warehouse. Oh, now it's a warehouse and not a well. Get you guys out of here. 
What? Punk, what the fuck were you thinking? Damn little degenerates. There has to be somewhere on this tower though. Actually, let me uh. Wait. No. Fuck. Uh, over here. Maybe. There we go. We missed a part of the story. The the kid luring us here was a fake. Yeah. Uh, well, well, the kids are up there. They're the kids are up there. They're, they're just doing gladiator fights. Yeah, they sent a demolisher after me. It took two shotgun shells and died. Yeah. Then they were all upset that we killed the demolisher. And we're supposed to get up there, but I don't know how, because there's an invisible wall in the hole they're looking. So you can't just grapple up. Ah, so that's what keeps us from just killing them. Bullets. Um, there's probably a different way up. Or we have to legitimately climb up there. That's probably the way I came in. Is there a... Oh, there is. Okay, yeah, through the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, because I actually came in here through the ceiling, so... This doesn't seem to connect in this room. A day of trying to figure out what the Dying Light developers want us to do. Well, since they won't tell us. Yeah, like, you can't climb up the thing here. Which is what my thought would be. Oh, okay. Du, 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 du. Right. Where's the door the demolisher came out of? It's over here. Search the body. Search the body to find the key. Ah. This is Crane. We got one of your missing people here. Deceased. Shit. Drop uh, like use flies. key on the right. door. Thank you. Use gun on man. Locked door to the immediate right of the corpse. Uh, 
Yeah, that's part of why we're not seeing anything. Oh. The the door prompt is not appearing. Fuckers. Did you just that guy? Yes. That's not loading properly, that's the only quest we can't do. That's a weird one. Yeah, because this is supposed to have a prompt or something? Yes, the door there is locked. The key that we got from the body. Hold on a second. This should just lead outside, I'll see how that would help. Because there's supposed to be a ladder, like, immediately outside this door. Oh, well... We can still go outside. outside. Yeah. But no, I think the area over here is locked. Off. Up to. Uh, no, that's still inside the building, actually. Yeah. Because mm. there is no door on this wall. Uh, so yeah, that does seem right. Like, I pulled up a guide specifically for this, and it's like, okay, no, the, the quest is just not triggered properly. Uh, might be some weirdness to... Because you're the only one who could grab that key, or... No, I'm pretty sure that Shiv picked up the key. I did not pick up the key. I picked up an ID badge. But not a key. Uh, where is the dead raider? Or not raider, but whatever. Uh, there's one open door in the room with the effigy with tin cans on it. That one open door oh, leads to the loading. This is definitely a loading bay. Prop has an X on it, so for me, for Radio Boy. And I see no like cocaine or otherwise remains of a uh, demolisher. It didn't drop anything, at least for me. Hmm. Uh, where was the key supposed to be? Like, when you flip this body over, this body was face down, when you flip it over, it gives an ID badge and it gives a key. Yeah, I saw the ID badge. I did not get a key. You know what? See a key? Just the stupid hammer? Yay, broken quest. Q surprise! Well, it's below this hammer. I don't have inventory space for. Maybe he's not dead yet. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, 
There's no item prompt around him now. Hooray. I think a survivor just fought off zombies on their own. Uh, I shot a zombie in a second. Ah, oh, okay. Ah. All right, well, I'm heading out of the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh... Yeah, this is... If it's broken, it's broken. This is what we get for doing side quests. Head back to my buggy and... Just continue on. D, continue on to somewhere. And I do not think I have been disappointed by a game in a long time since Dying Light from the perspective of, like, rose-colored glasses. <laughs> I remember this game being a lot better than it was. Oof. Picking up some fuel. Uh, so where are we going? Uh, well, once we, or once I loot this gas station here, uh, we are going back to that. Going back to the first town. Man. You don't like being run over. Let's try that again. Yeah, good enough. Damn trees. Alright, what was it? Where was I? Oh yeah, going this way. Seriously, a moon that I can't pass through or something. Where am I in? Uh, nowhere close. Got it. Well, I'd like to go where I'm going, but I can't get away from uh, the track they want me to take. Game, could you stop it? No. Could you let me remember which button it gets me out of the cap? Okay. <laughs> That's not really the game's fault. No. It's the game's fault for not letting me actually see a goddamn map. Oh. In any convenient manner. And also playing a mountain range in my way, because seriously, what the fuck, guys? Are for outside the map, not randomly in the middle of it. I'm also surprised I can't attack. Or I have, I'm also surprised that I haven't been teleported anyway, so. Because I haven't made it to the. Uh, I can't. I'm incapable of finding a trail that isn't blocked by mountains. Mm. 
Because apparently you have to circumnavigate uh, uh, basically everything instead of take direct paths. Yeah, you remember why I you remember back when I said that you'd be doing that one jump a lot? It's not because it's the most efficient route, it's because they make you circumvent the mountain. Luckily I'm on the other side of the mountain now, and I am nearing the encampment, so soon we'll be able to meet port as God intended. Good, because I have no idea where I'm going in this place. I, mean, I could drive through zombies, which is, well, fun enough. We could drive a little. But this mountain is fucking stupid. Meat portation. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Oh shit! I've heard of you. Please leave. <laughs> May this help you in your struggle. That's all we have yeah, to crossbow. say to you for now. A crossbow. Yes, this is also how, how we get uh, crossbows. You can leave now, newcomer. Compound crossbow. And bolts. Use these doors. I say it might be able to use three doors in succession. There's the compound crossbow that he just handed us, so I don't actually have to make one. Yes. It's so if you ever like destroy it, you can just remake it. Where is the traitor around here? Uh, so in the farmhouse? Just in the farmhouse. I think. Or oh, he's in this, uh... Oh yeah, no, he's in the building the next to the building. radio that calls your vehicle back. Ah, okay, I see him. Wand and Dark Wand, they are useless. Not completely useless, they're only mostly useless. They're great if you ever want to kill yourself. I mean, their biggest problem is taking up the exact same button as the uh, grappling hook. That is a fatal flaw in their usefulness. Okay. I do 
have unspent points game. I am not used to this. The other question is, how much patience do I have for this driver leveling thing before I just say fuck it? I, I'm gonna be honest, when we were having our conversation before uh, Shiva got here, I was under the impression you were already grabbing the power. Uh, no, I would actually have to... I, I can't play multiplayer and have that. And, uh... Oh, okay. So there are limits to your grand and mighty power. Well, unless we all install the exact same file. Uh, basically, if there's differences between our files, it won't let us uh, play together. Which would be fine if we were, like, saying, trying to rebalance the uh, experience system rather than circumvent it. Like, making... Like running experience, not a ungodly slog. But still, for some reason, respecting this game. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, I started this Let's Play with a lot more respect than I ended it with. <laughs> the story I never respected, but I at least thought the gameplay was semi decent. Uh, so I'm going to say it does actually have some decent elements, uh, as Hellraiser was actually fun, and that does kind of highlight that it has probably some decent first-person combat uh, mechanics. It thinks its parkour is way better than it actually is. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest issues. And the one part of the parkour that is actually fun, the grappling hook, is uh, not just criminally underutilized, but actively, like, subverted. Look back here. Yes, all the cars are back now. <laughs> yeah, earlier at the gas station, it did not despawn our cars, it just dropped them off in the car area. Where was I? Oh, yes, lighting things on fire. To no real effect. Oh, we got an SMG finally. SMG, you say? No, oh, no, no. False alarm. That's an axe. Oh, it was an SMG for me. A natural axe. Alright, where are we headed? One second. Find the food-stealing creature seen near a cave at the beach. Find my car. Got it. And my grappling hook. Okay.
Oh, sorry. Mario Kart drivers. <laughs> Watch out, blue shell. <laughs> Crane, it's the GRE. I want you to throw the blue shell to the ally. They'll never suspect it coming from you. Oh, Crane, they'll always suspect it coming from me. Or they're idiots. Sure, put some railing between me and wherever I'm going. I'll give you this some tough railing. Damn, could you let me out of my car? Yeah, that was great. Can you let me out of my car? Okay, thank you. A convenient and handy meat port for you. Oh, do we actually need to talk to them? Yes, we actually need to talk to them. Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. We would have finished it off, but you know what they say about wounded animals. I mean, it's not like we shot a rabbit, you know? Maybe Giant you rabbit. Go in a cave. Listen, please. Oh, Christ. That was not that far. Okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer. Oh, I got a steel bolt out of this. Yep, free steel bolt. Hooray. Vision. Splishy splashy. That's our spare with the flashlight on. Uh <laughs> Okay. 
Round two, underwater. Yeah. Dude. Oh, we need some underwater music for this not at all challenging sequence of wasting my time. I need to go find a like eight bit version of Fin Fishy Fun. <laughs> For fuck's sake, there's even a rope for us to follow. <laughs> Not that I'd really want this to be challenging or anything, but, you know, it doesn't have to exist either. Uh, there will be no accusations, just friendly crustaceans under the sea. <laughs> yeah, there certainly is air. Uh... Thanks, barrel that was randomly in my way. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. I can clearly fit through this hole! Well, that's all kinds of fucked up. Man, what are all these cans coming <laughs> <from? laughs> Oh, the vision of that was great on my screen. What now? <laughs> Uh, well, it's a zombie kid, obviously. Yeah. And, like, he's in the sort of, like, kind of, like, alcove, surrounded by toys and stuff. And on my screen, you just see this zombie child crying. And then Krampus just walks it with the horn of the fucking burner sticking off the end. <laughs> Slap. Okay. Alright, well... Well, another mission accomplished by Kyle Crane in a banner. Ow. Okay, how does it want us to get out of here? Uh, uh -huh. straight up. There's a small circular opening. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you the way they want you to do it, just use your ground. Uh, yeah, you just have to get the right angle so you can so you can actually grab or grab onto something out of the. Yeah. Enough of this playing dead zombie. It never works. Quests. No, no, no game. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. Okay. Where to next? Help locals in order to get noticed by the faceless. Uh, yes. So we need to either advance time tonight and then go do a volatile hole, which I'm not in the, the in favor of. Or we go back and read a little less. There's actually a quest right nearby. Actually, there's a quest right nearby. There is. Well, then. Farmer. Blue uh, icon on your map. Oh. Ah. Okay. I think that's actually literally the farm we were talking to down on the, uh... Ow! Okay, that was farther down than I thought. Oh, there you go. Where are you? Right there. Okay! Oh, my legs!
I'm here. And when your monster bled to death, you can go home. But what was it? And what about the food? Look, it's gone. The monster's gone. It's over, okay? Thanks, man. We mean it. You believe him? Who cares? Let's go home. <laughs> Oh, quests. there's Rockwell stolen. There you guess. More quests from the uh, bounty board at the gas station. That lighthouse looks interesting, but we don't have quests for it, so it's not going to actually do anything for us. Uh, I think we go to the lighthouse eventually. Yeah, well, that's my point. It's eventually. So yes, I can shoot them off of uh, cars. Nice. Oh, we can use crossbows from the back of a... I kind of figured you could. Yeah. Makes sense. Bows are out of fashion. Crossbows are the new hotness. That's a great game. Let me out. Oh, wait, I am out. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be in the car anymore. Oh, wait, I'm not in the car. Places for supplies, real quick. Oh, God. oh, oh no, 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 okay. Oh, no, there is a road up here. Okay. I thought I was going to make a long detour. Back to the car. Back to the car. I'm riding crossbow. Good job, Ninja Crane. Maximum stealthiness. Grab your gas from the gas tanks. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Uh, don't hit a gas pump. Obviously. Otherwise, you might die in a freak gasoline accident. All right, I have to hold. Enough of you three. At four. Eighteen. Hard to decide, isn't it? I just wanted some gas, not a swarm of zombies. Killing trivial things. Decisions, now to decisions. move it on foot to wherever we're going. Uh, just into the back of the building here. We're gonna do some quests. Yeah, okay. Get some quests. All right, there's a safe zone. Yes, it's a safe zone. Some 
people. A free meat portation. Meat portation. Oh, that was a meaty, juicy one. And this quartermaster. Okay. Harvest. Difficulty, not actually hard. Alright, so since I'm nowhere near my own car. It's parked on the side of the house. I'm not sure it's fun my fun. Or I do, I'm not sure which. <laughs> Manipulate my fun in some way. It almost sounds like a fun Friday night. I guess your fun is being manipulated. Uh, how do we get more fuel? Uh, so these gas stations over here, uh -huh. uh, each one of them can be looted for a chance for fuel. And any of the cars you see, their gas tank can be looted for fuel. Okay. Yeah, we can siphon gas, basically. Into our hands, apparently. Yep. There are also two seaters, so you can uh, hop in the car with me. Al Crane can manifest can gas uh, containers. All right, where are we going? Uh, the question be marked. Uh -huh. Yeah, the the actual marked quest. Okay. Ah, like that zombie flash mob. Oh, there's a big guy. There's a big guy. Oh, for a second, I have to figure out where we... Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay, I guess I'll drive in this position. Oh, that car did not like that. Yeah, we're gonna tune this thing up. But for now, this way. Maps are worthless. Zero terrain features on our maps. That will help you get to where you're going, right? Oh, right. Cars don't like water. Correct. Cars do not, in fact, like water. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wacky Races, Kyle Crane in the Botch Buggy. Okay, that zombie hey, hey, get off. quite literally just popped out from behind a tree. Goddamn Looney Tunes character. Okay, well. Well, it sounds like something in the area. Don't worry, we're coming to save you. As we leave them there on their own. If one or both of you aren't zombies by the time we get there, I'll be amazed. Oh, it's safe area. Hooray! 
you and express how grateful I am. I'm look, I just want to help. Then we are allies now. But it's not enough. Hey, I don't understand. Just wait. We are we don't really have anything to give you, but at least treat this home as your own from now on. This house is your house too now. Well, a safe place to rest can be a real lifesaver. Thanks. Yay. Yay, safe zone. Perhaps we owe you an apology, Kyle. You help us, and yet we still do More talking. not entirely trust your intentions. We're safe and alive. We understand and it's all it might thanks be to hard you. to expect You're doing someone good to for all of us without seeing the know. sign. It's no wonder I've everybody got nothing to hide. You, okay, my intentions are it's pure. Bullshit. I'm here to help. Make your way to the lake known as the Eye of the Sun. Bow down before the mother, and you shall receive her blessing. We invite you to meet with us, Kyle. All right. All right. It's time to learn about the power of the mother. Well, this will be dumb. Eye of the Sun. Uh, I believe there's a large section... Uh, okay, yeah. So we have to go back to the first area, then go as far as we can towards the objective, and then go on foot. I will drive. Beep, beep. Right, God damn it. Oh, sorry. I was trying to change bolts. Unfortunately, I can never remember which button anything is. Oh, wait. Okay. Alright. There. I can actually fire by ammo if I need to. And I think it should explode in a second. Yep. Dang it, Ninja Crane! We're going the wrong way! Now we are going the right way. Except if Kyle Crane goes the right way, does it automatically become the wrong way because it's Kyle Crane doing it? It's only the wrong way for the other people who are there. <laughs> Kyle Crane, like John Constantine, but about an eighth is uh, competent. Oh, it's zero percent the charisma. I would argue it's a negative modifier, if anything. Yeah, runner, you keep running after us. To make our way to the lake of the sun. Meet up with cultists and have some fun. and not die. Da, 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 da.
Oh man, this results in us changing from Kyle Crane to another character. With the exact same skills and uh, experience. <laughs> Rise, are you okay? What? Crane? No, he died. You killed him on that tower. You're Rise, man. I would not have put it past this game. No, no. There is no rise. We were both people the, same, uh, the whole time. Yep, same we person. Are, yep. We are Tyler Durbin. Sorry about there being mountains that shouldn't be here. I'm good. We're good. I'm not sure if this helps at all. Okay, we found the road again. Man. Man, it sucks to be them. Car crash, explosion, and zombies. Car crash, explosion, zombies, and the sudden appearance of Kyle Crane. Oh no. That's not how bridges work. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we are now pedestrians. I hope you're happy. As soon as I figure out how to get out of this car, I hope he's mildly upset. Can I get out of this car? <laughs> It's okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay, I figured out how to get uh, out of this car. Kyle Crane has used his mighty boots. Alright. <laughs> Attempt to get this out of here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're good. Just like I knew you'd be. Remember. All four wheels, not the left or right side, has to go over a bridge for it to work. Oh god damn it. I made it work. Oh, the car's like it's way from the vault, so quickly enough. Alright. Rest the ways on foot. I'm gonna check out this place real quick. Get some supplies. High up is the stupid. Still up. Okay. I'm actually going to take the, the walkway up just because I think there's some kind of conversation that happens. And because I'm sure. Right about it. I'm on the walkway now at a certain point. It's just, uh, I don't think I can grapple hook this any further without uh, probably falling to my death. The meat port. Meat port. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the end of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, tell your children not to walk my way. Mother, not as good as the second one, and Mother 3 is probably the best. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> wow, that's a really bad for you. Yeah, I was gonna say your destiny's in with Kyle Crane. That's your belief is misplaced. Kyle Crane's real mother doesn't have that much faith in him. that plane? Am I imagining this ninja? This man in a gold tracksuit? <laughs> oh man. Kyle Crane is, uh, is not doing so hot right now. Kyle Crane can only walk, but on the bright side, Kyle Crane can still grapple hook. Took too much of that Kyle Crow Crane. Paint job so, here. so the biter that didn't attack me, I I dreamed that? The biter was real. But don't try it again. You're not protected by mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the mother. Continue what you've started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena? C come on, Lena! Kyle! Kyle! Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was... I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies they didn't attack me. Lena? Hello? Shit. Okay, now we can run again. Yes. Well, that was a thing that happened. That is, in fact, a thing that happened. Seems like a good place to stop. Uh, yeah, because it's like 40. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we actually got a lot done tonight, and by that I mean we did a few side quests, got our, uh, our rank up with the community. Uh, we glitched out a quest, but thankfully the quest here didn't glitch out, and we got to finally meet the mother. If it did, I think we're pretty much screwed, considering this is the main quest. Yes. Um, but, uh... 
Who knows what's going to happen going forward? Weird shenanigans. Fulfilling writing. <laughs> who, who knows? Uh, don't promise people saying it's not going to happen. But false hope is the sweetest hope of all. When you put it in other people. Uh, anyway, as I loot these uh, gas cans, uh, thank you for joining us on our Thursday night gaming session. Uh, join us on Sunday, when we'll be continuing our playthrough of SD Gundam G-Generation Cross Race. I said the entire title right this time. Uh, as we continue with Seed Astray, which is actually pretty cool. And uh, I'm baffled as to how this is a seed problem. Uh, join us on Monday for more Pokemon Infinite Fusion as we continue to uh, meddle in things we were not meant to. Shut up! Nobody cares about your altars. The yeah, altars will protect themselves. Mother will smite them for D3 mortal wounds or something. Uh, and uh, Tuesdays we're taking a break off. So, uh... Yeah. Thank you for joining us. I have been the Krampus. I've been Shiv. And I'm Vincent. All right, have a good one, everyone.